I am so excited. I am so excited. We just booked a camping trip in our RV to the beach and I have never camped on the beach before. So I'm very, very excited about that. So it is the perfect time to show you how to make my breakfast burritos. I make them ahead, I freeze them, and I serve them when I don't really want to slave over a stove uh, when we are out RV camping. And if you are looking for more quick and easy RV or camping recipes, please go ahead and subscribe because I do a whole ton of them because we love to go RV. Welcome back to the Spicy Apron Cooking Show. My name is Heather and I am here to show you the easiest ways to get the best results in your kitchen. And today I'm doing make ahead camping burritos. Now, of course, they're not just for camping, but that is usually when I use them. Quick and easy and you will be glad you made them ahead of time. The link to the full recipe is below. So let's get to making them. The first thing that I do is I brown a pound of sausage. Now I like spicy sausage, which again, you guys know I'm kind of spicy. So uh, let's go ahead and brown that spicy sausage. And I'm using a big pan here because I'm also gonna add the eggs directly in with the sausage. If your pan's too small for that, once your sausage is browned, then take it out and do the eggs separately. Now you just wanna brown this until it's fully cooked and crumbly. While this is browning, let me tell you my favorite time to pull out these burritos. So I make them ahead, I freeze them. You can freeze them up to three months in advance, uh, but we're going next week, so I will not be freezing them that long. But once they are frozen, then when you are out camping, I like to serve them on the morning that we are packing up to move somewhere else, because that way there are no dishes to do, no mess to clean up. I pull them out of my freezer the night before, stick them in the icebox cooler or refrigerator. And then the next morning I just warm them up and they are delish and always a huge hit. Okay, you can see that this sausage is almost fully cooked. I'm gonna give it another 30 seconds or so. Uh, so who else does the happy dance when you book an RV trip? <laughs> Raise your hand. Okay, no, comment below uh, if you do the happy dance. I always do, every time. Okay, so this is cooked, and now I'm going to add a dozen scrambled eggs. I have pre-seasoned it with a little salt and pepper. Again, the full recipe link is below, and I'm just gonna cook these together. Like I said, if your pot is or pan is not big enough to hold both of them, then just go ahead and throw the sausage into a bowl. By the way, I'm gonna mix everything in this bowl later anyway. So you can throw it in that bowl, uh, and then do your eggs separately. So right now we are just gonna cook those scrambled eggs and then we're gonna add all the other good stuff that makes this a complete meal. So for those of you who have gone RVing on the beach, uh, give me some tips. Tell me what to do and what not to do. It is quite different from the places that we usually go, which I'm in Arizona and we often are up in the Rocky Mountains. So being on a beach is going to be very, very different. Uh, I imagine it's gonna be a little bit more crowded but I am really, really looking forward to it. I need a vacation. Now the key to scrambled eggs, any kind of scrambled eggs, these are with the sausage, you do not wanna overcook them because then they get kind of rubbery. So you wanna watch them very, very closely as you are scrambling them over medium high heat to just about the point that they are done because even when you kill the heat in the pan, they will continue to cook just a little bit. Okay, so I have combined the scrambled eggs and the sausage. At this point, I add about a half a cup of salsa. Uh, you don't have to do the salsa if you don't want to. Uh, you do you, but I like the salsa. So mix this in, and as soon as it's mixed, uh, we are gonna dump it into this other bowl so it quits cooking. You don't wanna, wanna overcook this. So this is done. I am going to dump it into that bowl and try really hard not to make a mess. I'm not even sure if you can see that bowl, but there you go, it's in. And I did make a mess. Okay, so in this bowl, I've got the eggs and the sausage in the salsa. Now, this is my favorite part. Um, and if you don't like potatoes in your burrito, you don't have to put these in, but really who doesn't like tater tots? Okay, um, this is about a half a bag of tater tots that I have cooked according to the package directions. In fact, I've made them just a little bit crispier than the package directions call for because I want them to keep a little bit of that crunch 
Uh, so after they're frozen and reheated, then you will still be able to taste that crunch of the tater tot. So toss those in there and then sprinkle about a cup and a half of cheese, mix it all together, and then we're just gonna roll them into burritos. All right, so now we're going to do a little assembly line of burritos. And again, the amount that I told you about makes eight burritos. Uh, they keep for a long time, so you know, you might as well make eight. Just pile it in. Now, a couple of secrets with rolling burritos. You definitely want to roll the ends in first and then tuck it over and you kind of squish it as you do that and then roll it together. Now, if your burritos are a little bit too firm, which is not a good thing when you're rolling burritos, then just zap them in the microwave for about 30 seconds, okay? Once you have rolled it, I'm gonna move this here so the other camera can see it, then you're gonna put the seam side down and roll it in foil. Now you do wanna roll it fairly tightly because you don't want air in there and get freezer burned. So that's what they look like. So I'm gonna do all eight and just stack them up and freeze them. And this truly is one of the very, very best camping meals that we have. Uh, anytime you want an easy breakfast while you're out camping, all you do, pull it out of the freezer the night before, stick it in your refrigerator or your cooler and warm it up either over a campfire uh, where you wanna make sure you turn it often if you're doing it that way, or you can put it in your camp oven and warm it up at 325 or 350 degrees for about 20 minutes and then it's good to go. So thank you for watching this spicy apron cooking show. Uh, enjoy yourselves out there camping. Tell me all the details of all of your trips. Happy camping, happy cooking, and happy eating. And I am off to the beach.